sweet. It's a rainy Tuesday. I have the screws for the um, 832s are for the wires on this. My directional, my hiding low beam switch, which I made the plate for. Just a piece of the eighth inch. Uh, I needed some blue terminals, and I have the 3 16 24 nuts and bolts to hold down the block because I made a bracket for the block that's connected to a bracket for the breaker. Just eighth inch steel. But um, I made a slot underneath so the terminals can go behind. See the slot? And uh, I'm going to continue to wire my headlights. I ran out of loom stuff, so I bought some. It's cheap. The other thing I don't like about this stuff is it's slit. The stuff I had was, uh, you had to literally feed it through, see? There's no slit. But it's only one wire. Three wires running through it. So they have to go from back there, up the firewall, probably off this side, and over to the headlight switch. I mean the headlight block. But I'm going to drill some holes and mount up these blocks, and uh, I'm going to mount the bracket because it's just clamped in there with a C-clamp right now. It's really hard to hold an iPod. It's not like a camera where you get a uh, you get a big heavy thing. This thing is so small and it shakes very easy. So that metal plate is actually part of this metal plate. It's just connected right there. See it? So I got one, two, three, four holes to drill. I got two for the bracket, and I got to drill the holes back here. This uh, high beam, low beam switch. Actually made it to go here to the left of my column. Isn't that cool. Any problems? Take it down, replace it. Um, the only problem was the screws stick out a little bit. I'm gonna have to insulate them from the firewall somehow, but not a big deal. That one's actually stainless. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, I made one for the Allison too. Sorry. I made a little slit in it so you could bend it. And everything lines up to the holes. All the holes line up. Uh, I'm going to put that under the dash somewhere. I don't know where yet. Let's check that out. Probably somewhere it can reach. It might run out with the uh, throttle cable, so it'll probably be up there somewhere. But thank God I don't have a firewall insert yet. Because I can still drill holes here. I might actually make it in um, um, aluminum or uh, something and have it like removable. But I gotta cut, I gotta make cardboard patterns for my shaft for the steering column. And it's gonna be in uh, an oval, of course, to clear it. I gotta clear down here. I had that stupid little thing I cut with the Chevy bow tie in it and stuff, but it's just, it's not. That was just messing around. Alright, let's see what we can do. Well, moving along, the high beam, low beam switches in, and the new bracket. Now, my only concern was that wire sticking out when I put a when I put a firewall up against here that it's going to hit. So I'm going to put some kind of thick insulator there. Um, we're running out of wire. Say bye to that. And uh, I was like, you know what? I got more extension cord. Maybe we'll leave it in the uh, orange sheath. What the hell? So I did. Just for the yeah, just for that switch. That is the little fog light that I had in the dash. I took it out. I went to the store. And I kid you not. For two bucks, they sold a rebuild kit for the single element bulb. So the blue light is back. Uh, everything's up here. I'm working on the headlights now. Get them wired up. After I get this connected, that is my high beam, low beam to the headlights, which are right there on the floor. Uh, headlight switch is wired. 
the wires are here. You've got um, parking lights and headlights, but they got to be divided between the foot switch, so you got high beam, low beam. Also, not a big deal. Actually, pretty cool to do. I need a piece of Romex to go up there and hold all these wires in, though. I might have to go get one. But uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to leave the extension cord on. Who cares? It's like two feet long, maybe three. Okay, still rocking, and it's still raining. All right, I ran to the store. Got some BX cable. <clears throat> BX cable. That's the extra. Uh, it's butted here. I put a piece of vinyl hose inside after I wrapped the wires in tape, and then I put the vinyl hose over, and then I butted them, and then I taped it. Then I wire ties on both ends so it can't, it can't uh, pull away. Makes a little curve. Goes up inside the dash. Comes across and ends up right here. Now these are all my, these are my headlight wires. So high beam, low beam, left directional, right directional, and parking lights. And those are right here. Headlight, actually, high beam, low beam, parking light, left and right directional. All done with eight blocks. And uh, I really only have a couple more things to wire. Gauges, when I get a new set, that can be done anytime, but this is pretty cool. All those colored wires are gone. They're all in their own little insulators, and I rooted everything so it's clear. This is the column one. It's kind of hanging there because the column's hanging down. But uh, very clean. The only thing that to me isn't clean is the white wire. Uh, the extension cord for the high beam, low beam, it's right there. So I'm going to wire it up. I know that my headlights are the black wires. Directionals are the green, and the white was uh, one was nothing, and the other one was a horn, I think. Still going. Well, the floor switch is in place. I uh, hand wired them for now. Now, this is your power from the headlight switch. Goes to the green wire. The green wire goes down to the switch, and then two come back. One for your high beam, one for your low beam. Let's try it. I'll turn on the key. And this switch is wired, so I'll turn on the headlights all the way out. There's low beam. There's high beam. Now we just got to find a way to route these wires up here, nice and clean. But um, looking good, one wire at a time. Battery's a little dead. Gotta put the charger on it. Wish I had a horn. Pretty soon. the headlights in the distance. Still going. The three, uh, the three bolts are drilled. Quarter 20. Quarter inch holes for the bracket. That actually bends down if I want it to. I might leave it that way. I don't know. Um, bolting in the barrier blocks. I got some little thumb knob bolts right there for now. I gotta drill some holes to hold them tight. I didn't make any holes on it on purpose. Um, there's a little shock. If I can get the wire. Let me pull this up. And we'll cheat it. We'll jump it to the ignition switch for the battery switch. Nice if I turned on the breaker, huh? Which involves reaching underneath. It's that little thing. There it is. Alright, here's a little treat. Now that's my 
That's my battery post lead right here. That's the lead to the heater fan. And uh, probably 6 volt because it goes like a bat out of hell. But uh, I'm going to drill these holes bolt this thing down. <clears throat> it's early and I'm drinking coffee. I'm going to have a coffee. The wiring for the headlights is done. The wiring for the directional switch is done. But well, I need two diodes to make it blink, but <laughs> to put it in line. Um, the flasher is connected, but with the drag of one light bulb on it, it just doesn't blink. I have to get an electronic one, I'm thinking. See this? Left directional. Right directional. If uh put the parking lights on. Just the parking lights is pretty cool. Look at this creepy orange glow. I could almost drive like that if you could see, but I doubt it. Uh, this is the horn lead. It's not connected up front, so I'm not going to connect it here yet. I might. You know, the, the wire's right here. I can connect it. What the hell am I saying? Yeah, no biggie. It's a little short. We can make it reach. Um, the blue lights are connected. My battery's dying in the iPod again because I've been out here most of the morning. I'm going to wire tie these down, move them over a little. I should have put this one under this one. I put it over it, so I'm going to disconnect that and move it around. But uh, i got like 20 minutes i got to go to work, so I'm going to go and take a shower. Okay, guys, have a good night.